it came to my clinical attention, dealing with some patients with advanced kidney failure, that a drug that is generally thought of as relatively harmless, baclofen, uh, appeared to be the precipitant in a number of these patients that I saw of severe confusion, of what we would call in medicine encephalopathy. The patients who had previously been very normal and very uh, oriented uh, in space and time were suddenly extremely confused. And when you took a history, they'd recently started this supposedly harmless drug, baclofen. We wanted to better characterize the risk of encephalopathy associated with the use of baclofen in patients with chronic kidney disease. So using ICS data, we assembled a cohort of uh, 15,000 patients, 942, with chronic kidney disease who had received a new prescription of baclofen from an uh, outpatient pharmacist between January 1, 2007 and uh, March 1, 2018. And so we found that um, in current practice, most patients are getting a similar dose of baclofen no matter what the level of their kidney function is. Uh, the prescribing guidelines would suggest you should use a low, lower dose when people have kidney dysfunction, but that's not happening. And we found quite a high risk of hospitalizations for severe confusion, which we refer, refer to as encephalopathy, amongst patients uh, who received uh, doses that were higher versus those that were lower, or those that received baclofen at all compared to those who did not. So when we took people with low kidney function and they received a dose of baclofen, from their prescriber, approximately one in 25 were being admitted to hospital with severe confusion, typically over the next few days. And if we compare that to a group of people who had low kidney function who didn't get baclofen, that risk would be less than one in 500. So it's quite a dramatic difference between the two groups. Well, I think this study adds dramatically to the, what we knew before because it's a very robust design and shows quite clearly the potential harm of this drug. We're hoping regulatory agencies will look at this information and consider perhaps a new black box warning for baclofen. Uh, prescribing guidelines and educational resources for physicians and pharmacists can be improved with the information. And then we, of course, hope physicians will be more discriminant in their prescribing. We would never want patients to uh, stop their drug without talking to their doctors, but the doctors can look at the risk benefit, whether they prescribe it or if people are on it, um, whether they should stay on it. And similarly, pharmacists can check the medication. We now use a lot of computer order entry systems. So we uh, type in a prescription. And if we add this information into those computer systems, hopefully it can, can flag for the physician to give this a second look before they prescribe the drug.